Have you ever wanted to make a plan and said, well, I'm going to do this or, or I'm going to do that one day, and, uh, but then you know, keep just putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and uh, then one day it's just too late to actually do it? Uh, you know, it's something that uh, I've been experiencing here lately is Diane and I traveled to Columbus, Ohio this past weekend. It's a place that I had wanted to go for several years, especially when uh, one of my friends uh, became a pastor of a church there uh, just outside of Columbus. And, you know, we always said, oh, we're going to go to Columbus. We're, we're going to go and uh, just spend time together, you know, like we were able to when we were both in Roanoke. Uh, but unfortunately, it was just something that never happened. Uh, but, you know, this past weekend, I did get to go to Columbus. The problem was... It wasn't to see him, it was to attend his funeral. It kind of got me thinking about a parable that Jesus taught there in Luke chapter 12. Now, really the context of this parable is about um, you know, making sure that we are laying up for ourselves treasures in heaven and not uh, on earth. But something that Jesus says when this guy, you know, he looks around and he says, man, everything's going good, I've got plenty. I'm going to tear down what I've got and build it bigger. But this is what Jesus said. Luke chapter 12, verse 20 says, But God said to him, You fool, this night your soul will be required of you. You know, he had put so much time, energy, and effort to things in this world and in this life that he neglected the most important thing. And that was his soul. You know, the reality is we keep saying, well, I'll go to church or, you know, I'll give my life to Christ when, when things are better or when I'm a better person or whatever it happens to be. But what we don't know is if we're going to have tomorrow. So learn from Jesus' words. Learn from a regret I, I right now have. Don't put off until tomorrow what must be done today because you may not have tomorrow. But praise God for all the days that he's given us. Hope you have a great week.